has this favor. God's grounds for action. When you start favoring God's purpose, then there's no way you can favor God's purposes without favoring God's grounds for action. <laughs> <laughs> Listen to the preacher. See, God has reasons for why He does everything. And God won't choose you, listen to me, to be able to forget it. If he sees you, you're not behind his purpose, then there's no way you can favor or understand his reasoning about why he's doing what he's done. Don't get that in a minute. My God. Thank you. Thank <laughs> you. 
It's not an option. Come on now, say that. Yes. Come on now, Apostolic. Right. Amen. Say that. Let me give it to you this way. All because you admire somebody else's gift doesn't mean it's for your purpose. Come on now, say that. Say that. Some people can teach well, preach well, dance well. Come on, break it down, back it up. I don't care how you really want to do it. But once you, see, once you understand that admiring somebody else's gift Come on now. doesn't necessarily mean it's for your purpose. Right. Yes. Yes. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The bottom line is not. But something that should have been a hobby for you and not a life for <laughs> Sometimes some gifts that you try to copy and put in play, okay, should, 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 to some people might be something, but to you it should be just a hobby.